Now we're still working on uh, 3.3 dimensional analysis, uh, practice sheet number one. We're going to work on problem number five uh, right now. So we look at that question is how many seconds are there in one year? And again, because it's on uh, time, we're going to say that it is unlimited uh, sig figs. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and like I always like to do, make sure that we have that uh, uh, right there. And then we got to put down what are known and unknown. Well, we really, we just want to know how many seconds that we know. So what's known is uh, the time that we have, which is one year. What's unknown is how many seconds are in that. So now the one thing, again, we want to plan out through this. We should know how many, I don't know if we know how many seconds are in a year, but we do know how many seconds are in a minute, how many minutes are in an uh, hour, how many hours are in a day, how many days are in a year. So we're going to do it that way. That's our plan. So we're going to start off with a year, and we'll work our way down to, uh, to the number of seconds. So we're going to go ahead and put this in there. So we start off with one year. And as always, we're going to put our handy dandy times in a line, uh, but we're going to put year in the bottom. So I'm going to put that over there and we're going to put uh, one year. One year. I mean, and the, the question though is uh, can we go past that? Okay, can we go past one year or can we uh, identify? How many days? Well, we know how many days, but we don't know how many hours. So we're going to go ahead and put on the top here. We're going to put 365 um, days. Again, if you wanted to put 365.25, I would accept that. That's all right. Um, if you want to be that precise, I'm not going to be that precise when I go ahead and do this just because we're just uh, working on it. Now, if it was, again, this was really a high upper level class, yes, we would go ahead and put the, be more precise with that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add our next times in line. Now we got to go from days to hours. So we're going to do that, and we're going to put days on the bottom. So we're going to push this over here, and we're going to put uh, one day. And that one day is going to uh, equal, okay, what is it going to equal? It's going to equal uh, the number of hours. So we're going to put 24 hours. So that one day equal 24 hours. We'll underline that. And again, what do we got to do next? We got to put our times uh, in a line. And so now we got to go from hours to uh, minutes. So we're going to look at the bottom and we're going to put uh, one hour equals how many minutes? Well, one hour is going to equal. How many minutes? 60 minutes. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put another times because we're not at minutes yet. We can't, everything else cancels out. We're at, or at seconds yet. We're at minutes. And so now we're going to go ahead and put our next uh, one in. And our times in the line because we're not there yet. So on the bottom, we're going to put in one minute. One minute is equal to how many seconds? And that's going to be 60 seconds. And we'll underline that. Okay. Now we look at uh, what it is. Can we get rid of? Uh, can we get rid of anything? Yep. We can get rid of all of our units except for the seconds. So year on top, year on bottom. Let's get rid of that one. So we're just going to strike through that. We'll strike through this year on top because it's on top. I have day on top, and I also have day on bottom, so we're going to get rid of those. Now, again, uh, hours on top and hours on bottom. I know that this looks sometimes like it's a little bit harder. It might be easier to do it by hand, but I tell you what, it's actually easier to do it by uh, right here and doing it on the computer, and the reason is is that you can see things a lot clearer. Trust me, your penmanship is not that good, so we need to make sure that uh, most of the time for a lot of you. 
So everything across it, minute, minute, hour, hour, day, day, year, year, got that, we're left in that. So we're basically done. So all we have to do is go ahead and uh, do the math. So we're gonna start off with uh, one, we're gonna multiply that by 365. We can, one, and we're gonna multiply that by 365. And then we're gonna do the rest. We divide by one, then we're gonna, which we don't have to in our calculator, then we're gonna multiply by 24, divide by one, multiply by 60, divide by one, multiply by 60, and we end up with this number right here. So 54,756. Let me double check that because you know what? Sometimes I make mistakes. So we're going to clear that again. And we're going to take our, uh, I don't have to do the uh, initial one. So we're going to take 365, multiply that by 24, multiply that by 60, multiply that by 60. And oh, I get a lot different number. Ooh, let's see what, uh, what is, let's do it again. So 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 there we go that looks like our it looks like our number i think i got that twice uh if not ooh, we'll see what it is so we're going to go ahead and put that in there as uh, 31,000 uh 31 million five hundred and thirty six thousand And since it's unlimited, we just go ahead and whatever the calculator says, what we write down. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in there like that. Highlight. And voila, we are done. There's our answer to question number five. Hopefully that's correct. Okay. Good luck with the rest of the problems. Keep watching if you need to uh, make sure that you're doing it correctly. Nelson out.